Hi, welcome to Moody Blooms. I'm Mary Ellen, and today we're gonna to unbox a beautiful plant from Rana. Let's get started. At Rana Plant Co., they are passionate about plants. Plants improve air quality and of course make any space look more attractive. You can choose from their collection designed to simplify and make your plant shopping easier. They are currently offering 15% off to my viewers by using the coupon code Moody Blooms at checkout. Check out their website at ranaplantco.com to view their gorgeous selection of curated line of houseplants and decorative containers. One of the awesome things that sets them apart is that they currently offer free shipping on all their products. This is not common for large plants to ship door to door and some of their plants are over five feet tall and they ship for free. They're shipped right to your door and all the plants come with care instructions attached to the plant and additional care instructions can also be found on their website. They also included extra packaging to help combat potential cold weather for me because I was visiting St. George, Utah when they shipped it to me. And the climate there is much colder than my hometown in Southern California. When purchasing a plant from Rana Plant Co., you can select standard or winterized packaging, a great option if you live in a colder climate. Wow. They have really mastered the packaging because this plant came flawless. I'm so impressed. Their plants come as a styled finished product, so consumers can simply unbox and place where their space needs some green. Oh man. Might have been a two man job. Wow. It traveled really well. They have shipped me the Kapuni, which features the Dracaena Lisa cane. It is lush with deep green glossy foliage and long slender leaves. This plant really conveys elegance and is one of the best performers in low light spaces. It has a low maintenance requirement, instantly turning plant novices into plant heroes. Lisa will add lasting beauty to your home. And for these reasons, the Rana Plant Co. has made it their signature product. It will come about 72 inches tall and about 18 to 24 inches wide. I might need some help. <laughs> no, I, I might need some help. Can you help me lift this out? I need reinforcement. I need, yeah, can you help me lift this out? Hold on, let me cut this down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so there's a few handles. Can just pull it out? Gently, gently. Oh, yay, thank you. Okay, set it back down. Arguably one of the sturdiest members of the dragon tree family. This plant is perfect for those looking to add some green to taller spaces. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, keep checking on those. All right. Let's take a look at this beauty. Wow. They did an excellent job shipping that. Look at those leaves. They're beautiful. It is perfect. Leaves are nice and healthy, not a single bent leaf. Nice and green and full. Look how cute that basket is. There's no dirt anywhere. Beautiful. Care instructions. Dracaena Lisa canes are a great choice for a lower light corner in your home or office. It is paired with lava rock and dressed with moss and styled in their white wood and rope basket. Although they tolerate lower light conditions well, they will really thrive in medium bright diffused light or significant artificial light. Be sure to avoid extended periods of direct sun as it may sunburn. Keep in mind plants in lower light will require less water than plants located in high light conditions. Avoid asymmetric growing by rotating your dracaena to avoid a lopsided plant. Also be sure to dust the leaves often so that the plant can photosynthesize efficiently. This also keeps the leaves looking lush and vibrant. Simply wipe the leaves with a soft, damp cloth. Watering. The Lisa cane is commonly propagated in Hawaii and grown in lava rock, giving it some very forgiving water requirements. If your Lisa is potted in soil, always check that the soil surface is dry to the touch before watering. Checking for moisture can be a bit tricky if your Lisa is potted in lava rock like this one, so it's best to put them on a watering schedule. 
Rana Plant Co. recommends watering your Lisa once every 10 days using one to one and a half cups of water. If you notice water accumulation, skip one watering cycle. Never allow the soil to become soggy, as this plant can be prone to root rot. However, allowing the soil to go bone dry will also result in brown tips on the plant's leaves. Depending on your climate, you may need to reduce watering in winter. This plant can be sensitive to salts and minerals in your water. Since it has such dark green leaves, yellow spots and significant brown tips really show. You may need to use distilled water if this applies to your tap water. Temperature. If your home is comfortable for you, then your Lisa plant should be fine. Just keep it away from any cold or hot drafts and away from heaters and air conditioning vents. Okay, so let's talk about leaf spots. Over time, leaf spots, especially on the margins, can develop from a buildup of fluoride in the leaves from water sources treated with fluoride, which is basically every water source that comes from a treatment plant. If your Lisa develops a few brown tips, you can just leave them. A bit of tipping is normal due to the dry air in our homes. If the brown tips are sizable, it's due to a couple possible causes. It could be due to a watering issue, overwatering or inconsistent watering can turn those tips brown. If your tree is showing brown tips with yellow edging, then you're likely overwatering. Another reason why those tips might be brown is that the soluble salts left by the water build up this high mineral content over time and it can burn those tips. Restore a healthy look to unsightly brown tips by pruning them into a V shape with no damage to the plant. Just make sure your scissors are sharp and clean. Over time, your Dracaena lisa cane will slowly lose its lower leaves. This is normal. As the plant grows taller, the lowest leaves turn yellow and eventually brown. Wait until the leaves are dry and then easily pull them off. If your plant is losing more than a few leaves or the brown tips are sizable, consider if it needs a water or light adjustment. If you see fully yellow leaves and some crispy brown tips with yellow edging, then it's likely due to underwatering. Pests. The most typical pest found on the Lisa is the mealybug. So just keep an eye out for those guys when you're wiping down your leaves or when you're watering your plant. We hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Hawaiian Lisa from Rana Plant Co. Be sure to use code MOODYBLOOMS at checkout for 15% off your order. And remember, all of their gorgeous plants ship free of charge. You can visit them at ranaplantco.com to check out their gorgeous selection of beautiful houseplants. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed our content, and we'll see you next time on Moody Blooms.